Okay, today I'm going to cook my first meal in the Elect Homes electric multi cooker. And since it's an excellent rice cooker, I'm going to start with rice, frozen chicken, fresh mushrooms, and four cups of rice. Now, this rice cooker will hold up to 10 cups of rice, but just for a medium sized meal, I'm going to start with four cups of rice. And I think it's going to be good chicken and rice meal with mushrooms. Let me show you how easy it is. I hope the glare doesn't bother you from this light back here, but trying to light it up with without getting a glare on the screen there you see it because <laughs> it's a nice shiny screen look at it look at all the controls there you love that don't you I do there's so many functions pizza pasta dessert cake frying stewing soup rice white rice oatmeal yogurt broad beans but this is my first time using it let me finish cutting up my mushroom here Chicken is frozen, did I mention that? Then we're gonna go with the rice preset. Like mushrooms, do you? And wait to see these at the end. It'll be delicious. Let's open the lid. Look how fancy this opens. Push a button. Whoa! And here's my utensils that came with it. I imagine I'll use the rice spoon today. Put that on the side over here where it stays. I have a steaming tray. I'm going to use that just because I want to and because I can and because I'm going to make chicken and rice. I measured out four cups of white rice, long grain, and I'm going to go one and a half cups of water per cup of rice. Now I see all different measurements and ratios. I see one to one, I see two to one, I see one and three quarters to one. I'm going to go one and a half to one, so I'm going to add six cups of water. That's it. Six cups of cold water going in. This is such a simple meal. Look at this. I'm adding this to the pot. And remember, we can make 10 cups of rice in here. Let me show you inside. Stir it up a little with our rice spoon. Beautiful multi-cooker. See, now if I was making rice, that would be it. I'd close the lid and push the rice button. But I'm going to add something special. I'm going to add the steaming tray. I could put vegetables up here, but I know the rice will take longer than a short amount of time to steam the vegetables, probably. So let's put down a few mushrooms first. Put our frozen chicken on top of there. I have five pieces here. Frozen chicken tenders. And cover it up with the rest of the mushrooms. I was thinking of putting some barbecue sauce on here that you sent me lately. But I was also thinking that might go down into the rice, but that might be good too. Barbecue flavored rice, but I would just want to try white rice today. I might even throw a hunk of butter in that rice. Hang on. Yeah, I'm going to add a, almost a quarter stick of butter in there. Just make it a little extra special. Hey, while we're at it, let's put some salt and pepper down there. You like that idea? Mm-hmm. Give that a little stir. Salt and pepper up here. Just for fun. Close the lid. How simple can it get? Go down to the control panel, press menu. Now I can go through all the menus. See? Go through everything I want. But I want rice cooking, which is number one up there. And then I'm going to press start. And that's all there is to it. Now it's going to percolate around there until it reaches the right temperature. You see the steaming icon there? And the blue for the bottom heating. When it comes up to temp, I'll show you what it does then. It's going to be an easy meal, isn't it? Easy so far. Elect Holmes electric multi cooker. Okay, it took about 20 minutes to come up to full temperature, and the countdown has started. It started at 8 minutes, so that's not too bad. And it smells good in here. 
Smells like chicken and rice. All right, we have less than a minute remaining. Nice. It didn't take too long. This is another one of those set it and forget it meals. And this is a nice size. Look, it's only about nine inches tall. About 12 inches deep. 13 maybe. Ooh. And 10 or 11 wide. And it's a nice handle on it too, see? Okay, we're gonna look at it. Our first meal. Smells delicious. You ready? Let's open it up. Remember, we have chicken and mushrooms on top. Oh, they look good. Oh, let's take that out and look at our rice. Whoa, look at that rice. Let me use my rice spoon to fluff it up. Oh, yeah. You can change your texture however you like it. This also has a customized setting on here. Look at this. Let me put it on a plate. Make a nice meal out of this. I like it like that. I'd melt more butter on it on my plate. How about you? Get a fancy eating dish. Pile it up. Lots of rice. Four cups? Woo! Ten cups would be a lot. It goes up to ten cups. This is plenty. Close that. It goes into a keep warm mode. You see, it's at two minutes there already. There's a plate. Put some chicken mushrooms on there. Look at those babies. Then you can put your sauce if you like some kind of sauce. I'm going to try it just like this. Like I said, I would put more butter in the middle of that rice. This smells absolutely delicious. How does that look? Hmm? Should I taste it? Should I put some more butter right in the middle? Yes. Yes, I should. Mmm. <laughs> Doesn't that look delicious? Want to watch me take a bite? Let's see how tender the chicken is. Remember, it was frozen. Remember? Cut it with a fork. Taste a piece of chicken, rice, and mushroom, and butter. All together. First taste. Ooh, perfect. Buttery rice. Hot buttery rice. Mm. So good. Steamed mushrooms. Melting your mouth chicken from frozen, remember? It's so good. You can't stop eating it. Mm. The rice is done perfectly for me, so that's one and a half cups of water to one cup of rice. And if you chose the brown rice selection, it would take longer to cook brown rice. I don't know why. Maybe it's harder. So check out Alec Holmes. I'll put a link down there. And I'm going to make pizza in here and fry in here and bake in here. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Check him out. Stop back soon. Please subscribe. I'm going to finish eating this. I'm going to put some more butter on it too. Ooh. See ya. Have a nice day.